So everybody's getting that orders from me via PayPal invoice is now getting a third nozzle. And a couple of people didn't get them originally. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and send them a nozzle. Because I support my products. This is a stick powder. And uh, for 308 it calls for 43 grains. And you see this nozzle is a bit larger. Actually, this is probably close to the size of the nozzle that was in the old manual trickler that they had for probably 50 or 60 years. You can see how this one's working. I could drop these all day long, 43.0 with my nozzle, I'm happy to say. The trick is with this larger nozzle is I've sped up the drop time with the really small nozzle with this powder at 43 grains it's going to take too long with the medium sized nozzle well it's doable but I prefer to have this size nozzle for the large uh, heavier weight powder drops and let's just try another one now also I've set the settings in my charge master different than the stock settings and I have a couple of settings that I use but what you noticed here is the speed changes. I've got my speed changes to happen about one grain from the terminal count, uh, about six grains from the terminal count. You'll see it slow down at about uh, 27 or uh, 37, 36. Yeah, 37. I got it set for 37 right now. So six grains before 43, it slows down the first slower speed. Then one grain before it hits 43, it slows down to the trickle. I also set a couple other settings. Actually, maybe just one other setting that I found helps. Actually, RCBS would give you some of the information that I have about the settings themselves. But I'm a hacker and I kind of hacked out the right settings. I believe I got a pretty good setup here. Now on eBay, I'm going to have to charge more for these than directly. It's not going to be a lot more. But it's going to be something because eBay eats up my profit and uh, it's sort of a, the price is sort of a pain. I can't just do it for free. People would be asking me all day to do stuff for free. But I don't charge a lot. And you can see, as they say the proof is in the pudding, that it works well. I really like this setup where it slows down about six grains before. With this powder, it drops pretty quickly. 43.0. Now without my nozzle on there, and with the stock settings, you'd be a half a grain off. And I had it half a grain off four out of five tries. It was off at least uh, 3 out of 5, around 0.4 to 0.5 grains, and then um, one of them it was 0.2. None of that's acceptable. They're supposed to be 0.1. And um, 
let's see. It's 14, then I've had 43.0. Now, I can't tell you what the worst powder is. I had some trouble with the flake powder originally. And um, at the same time, I was fighting a stuck bearing inside. And I called RCBS, and, and they gave me some info, but it really didn't help. The info that they did give me was that my charge master was out of warranty. They said, go ahead and open it up. It's what you got to lose. And paraphrasing. And this is somebody that they have answered the phone, not necessarily RCBS. So I opened it up and I took a bunch of pictures and some video. And I plan on showing that and making a video out of it, but this stuff just takes time. So inside I found the gears were out of alignment. There were the um, the mesh of the gears wasn't very good. Actually, one was kind of was kind of uh, about oh I don't know it's maybe 25 percent engaged with the other gear. And um, I also found that there's two bearings that this tube goes through, and the back bearing closer to the motor was absolutely frozen up and um, it would not move so I think it got some powder flakes in it or it was just bad to begin with so if you take a little pick you can get the little rubber or little plastic shields off the sides of the bearing and you can blow a lot of air through it with the air compressor and clean it out and uh, I don't think there's anything that abrasive that's going to destroy the balls they just got dirty and I uh, blew it out, worked it with my fingers just a little bit, and then it was free as a bird. Now, the other thing that was a symptom was underthrows, where it was throwing light. And if yours is throwing light, I'm betting that as it goes through its speed changes, you're seeing it stall out on the last speed. Now, if you watch the, the tube, it's going to rotate. And then it's gonna gonna tap it just a little bit. If yours is stalling out right there, your bearings are probably frozen up. One or two of them. You can get them out pretty easily. They're not really pressed into anything. They're just set inside these plastic um, bearing holders. But you get you can get at them by pushing on them with a little screwdriver. Okay, and now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share with you how to do the settings. There's an edit mem memory button and an enter button. And what you do is you press those at the same time when it's at zero. When it's at zero, I'm going to cancel first. Now I'm going to press the edit memory and the enter button. And it says adjust parameters. It says speed 1 is 15.68. That's a stock setting. Speed 2, or B1, is 6. That's when it goes from the high speed to the low speed. How many grains away from the end amount when it changes. So for me, I'm throwing 43. That would be 27. Then the next one, HSPC1, is 1 grain away from the 43 so when it hits 42 grains it slows down and then there are three there are two other groups with the speeds and I think if you're throwing really large and I messed this one up I don't know what this one's supposed to be let's say I'll, I'll hit uh, let me hit two two zero zero so 22 grains I don't believe I ever use that so I'm not gonna worry about it I wrote down the setting and I suggest that you write down the settings what's in there if you're going to play with this. So write them all down first. You just hit enter to go through the settings. Alright, so C2 is when it's 2.25 grains away. And then A3, B3, and C3. I'm not going to change those. I think these are just ranges so that uh, how fast it runs. And then um, this one I didn't change. This one I didn't change. This one I didn't change. I don't think Actually, these are my settings, these three that you are seeing right now, and this is the third one. 
three. So uh, this was six originally, I set it to three. And I believe that has to do with the acceleration of the, um, the motor. Okay, so then these other ones I did not change. Just hitting the enter button. And the very end you'll see AT and it will reboot when you hit that one. So the first three I changed and then I set that one from a six to a three. Okay, so I can try to put some now I, I don't think I don't think this is a very good test, but if you put like five grains in I'm not sure how this powder is going to work with that. Yeah. Okay, so it's... Okay, well, it actually worked okay. So, I've tried the really fine ball powders. I've tried the flaky powders. And then they, these are the um, cylindrical type powders. And these are kind of s s short cylinders. And you wouldn't throw this many grains of this powder. This powder's for the larger caliber. But just as an example, you can see how that's, those settings affect this. So, some people may have a different opinion what the settings are. I'm not an expert on this. I kind of hacked my way through it. And this is what you, what you see is what I've got what I'll use unless I change it which um it's free to change I've already broke the seal on it tore a little thing that said the warranty is voided but I'm very happy that I did because now I know what's inside all right well um just dump this out now another thing you can do actually is um if you were using one of those manual droppers to drop close to the right amount, and let's say that um, let's say that you dropped it for uh, you hit 20, and then you start out with five in there. If you hit the the dispense, it actually stop at 20. So if you really want to speed up your process, you can use the manual dropper and drop close to your charge and then just put it on there and then hit dispense and you'll go to the right exact amount you won't have to go through the whole whole process of it dumping them from from zero okay so i got 20 in there now so let's say that that's what my dropper was dropping i really wanted 20 20 uh let's say 21 so I'll hit 21, enter, then I can hit dispense. So then it would it would know that, oh, I need to use the slow speed and um, go till it's exactly 21. It's just a thought. If you if you want to dump them out there as as um, throws and then set your, you know, let's let's put it on there. Now let's change it to uh, uh, 23. So let's say I. I, I uh, had a, a dropper dropping 21, manual dropper, and then I could just drop the 21 on there and, and then um, hit the spence. And then it would basically trickle in the last two grains and it'd be all set. So it's just thought, I don't know if you'd want to do that or not, but if you got one of those manual trickler, tricklers and you get it close and you throw that and then you put it on here for the final top off, who knows? I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Comment down below. Look at my other videos. I make lots of things. I make these little nozzles here. The kit will come with three different sizes, depending on what you're what you're loading. You decide for yourself which you like the best. And um, really, they're only they're only like a buck a piece. And uh, giving them away. I have no way to get cheap cheap shipping. Shipping is about three bucks, and there's no way to get any cheaper than that. I'm, Unfortunately, I don't have the Chinese chip shipping rates. And uh, anyway, well, thanks for watching. My website's loadertools.com, Facebook group Loader Tools, MeWe group Loader Tools. Come check out my other videos. 
And uh, if you're on Facebook, join my Loader tool, Tools group. I'll try to put some links down below. This is a crazy long video. Sorry for it. I'm boring. But hopefully this helps a few people. Thanks for watching. See you on the web.